Hi, here's a quick walkthrough of the garage management uh, application. Uh, the idea of this app is, is really to give you a, a simple way to look after all your customers and your vehicles and do your invoicing and look after your products and things. Uh, it's designed to be really simple to use. It's not going to overpower, with, overpower you with uh, too many features. And uh, as it's online, you don't have to worry about things like backups and software to install and things like that. It's always uh, available from whatever computer uh, you log in with. So you could use it at home, you can use it at work, in the workshop, uh, wherever you want. Um, I'm going to give you a quick quick look through all the different sections so you get a, an idea on how to use it. And um, Please get in touch with me if you've got any questions and I can let you have a, a username and a password as well to log in and have a play with it yourself so you can see whether it'll, it'll do the job for your, uh, for your garage. So we're going to start off uh, by having a quick look at the customer section here which will give you a, a list of all your customers. You can uh, quite easily search for a customer by just putting their name into the box at the top here. Uh, you can also search alphabetically as well for your customers by using this list. And you can view all the information you hold about your customers as well just by clicking on their name so you see see all their info there. Um, let's uh, uh, quickly add a new customer. Um, we click on the plus button at the top to add any new rec records. And then we type in their name, so we'll have John Johnson. Uh, you can add phone numbers, email addresses. Uh, you can leave some customer notes as well. And also put in uh, invoice uh, information as well. So we're just going to save this one as it's a, a quick test. And there we have all the details of your customer. Um, as you're going along, you can leave comments uh, about all the various different customers and, and uh, you can leave this really so that other members of staff can see uh, what's been said. So just uh, type something into the comment box and the comment will automatically appear there. So you can use this just to leave information for other staff members to see or, or any information you need to keep on record about your customer. Um, also under the customer uh, page here, you can see all the vehicles that are assigned to that customer. You can see all their invoices, all the bookings, the activities you've had. Um, you can look at quotes as well, all the products that they've bought as well. So it's all in one place, all under there. So that's a quick look at the customer section. Um, the vehicle section is very similar. Uh, we can add new vehicles uh, by clicking on the button here at the top so we just type in their registration number uh, make and model we can assign the vehicle to a customer so we just click on that button there and we can set it to a customer so let's put a, a region let's make something up and put that in there we can also set uh, MOT reminders as well the system will automatically send out an email to your customer uh, 30 days before their MOT date uh, the idea is so that just to remind them and, and hopefully uh, make sure that they come to you for the MOT. So you can set the MOT whenever you want. Uh, click the box here, send MOT reminder. And once you've saved it, it'll automatically send that reminder 30 days before the MOT date. Uh, same as the customers, you can leave comments about any of your vehicles so that another mechanic at a later date who comes along and has a look uh, can see information that you've left about the vehicle and also uh, record mileage as well and you can also have a look at the various invoices connected to that uh, vehicle and it's all in all in one place simple as that uh, i'm going to jump quickly to the oh actually i will show you one quick other little thing and um, the little filters here at the top what we can do is uh, quickly see which MOTs are due in the next 60 days so uh, you, you've got a, a good view on, on what's coming up so if people don't want to be reminded by email you could maybe send them a text message or, or phone them uh, and you'll, you'll be able to see uh, all the MOTs coming up in the, the near future so I'll head over to products uh, this is where you can keep basically a list of all the products that you that you use. You can you can uh, use it for services, for oil, for individual parts if you want, whatever you want. Uh, it's, it's quite flexible. Uh, again, to add a product, we just create the product at the top there, and we're going to create an MOT. We can put it into a category, and again, if we need if you need more categories, let us know because we can add more categories to this little list here for you. It's quite customized. Uh, you can customize it quite a lot. So we'll click on over. Uh, you can use part numbers, serial numbers. Uh, you can also assign it to a vendor, uh, one of your suppliers as well, because the system will keep a list of, of all your suppliers. So we head down to the price. We can put the price in. Uh, we can assign it a VAT rate, 20%, uh, a VAT rate of 0%. If you need 5%, we can also add that in as well. Uh, you can also keep stock information. So if you're keeping 20 in stock, every time you invoice one of these products out, it'll automatically knock the, the stock value down so that you can see how many you've got in stock at any one time. Um, so let's just uh, quickly put that in a zero and save the MOT. And there we go, we've got that uh, product saved. Let's go to the product list and there we go, there it is, the MOT is listed there. And um, actually we'll put a quantity in as well so that um, make sure that uh, 
there's always a, a quantity uh, down there. Right, so let's move on to vendors quickly. Uh, this is where you can keep a list of all your suppliers, just all their name, address, email, details, whatever information you need. Um, let's jump back quickly to invoices now, now that we've got all the information needed. It's really simple, really easy to uh, to, to draw up an invoice. Uh, just click on the plus button there, and let's uh, do a MOT. Let's do an MOT and oil change. And you can set up your customer name, so we click on the button there and we'll click on Bob Boxing. And then when we click the vehicle button here, it will show all these vehicles that he owns. You can assign multiple vehicles to your customers. So uh, if you deal with a company and they've got half a dozen vehicles that you look after, you can assign those all to one, one customer. Uh, you don't have to keep typing it all in over and over again. So we click on the vehicle there. Uh, the Building address is already filled in. And terms and conditions there if you like. A description for the invoice as well. You can leave MOT notes uh, there if you want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign products to it. We're going to put an MOT in. Quantity 1. And then we're going to put in uh, oil. I'm going to put one of those in as well. So it's added it all up for us at the bottom. £55. We just click save. And the invoice has been saved. If you want to print the invoice out or email it to somebody, then quite simple. Just click on the export to PDF and it'll open another little tab in your web browser and bingo, we've got the, uh, we've got the uh, invoice all sorted there. It shows all the different various VAT contents. So if there's a 20% rate, it'll show 20% there and it adds up all the VAT at the bottom as well. So um, you've got the invoice in the browser uh, waiting to be printed. Uh, in Google Chrome, it's quite simple. You just go down to the bottom and click the print button there. Uh, the quote section works pretty much exactly the same as the invoice section, only instead of it saying invoice on the printout, it says quote, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we'll quickly look at the calendar. You can set, uh, so you can uh, uh, book, put all your bookings here. So if we've got a MOT booked in on Friday, we'll just click on the plus sign, MOT, and we'll book it in from 10 until 11 o'clock. And then what we can do is we can set it related to a customer, like so, choose a customer. Uh, we can set it related to a vehicle as well. So we set it related to one of the vehicles and then click save. And it appears in the calendar. So you can keep a track of all your bookings uh, in this calendar here. Um, very quickly, there's a report section here for simple basic reports, things like a, a d detailed invoice report, uh, last month's invoices. Uh, and whatnot, and uh, there's also a recycle bin. So if you delete things, uh, you can also restore them them back as well. Um, there's a lot of import and export features built into the system, and, and to be honest with you, it's fairly customizable. So let us know what you want, and uh, I'm sure we can we can build it in. If you do want a, a demonstration, again, let me know, and I can send over a username and a password to you. And you can log in and and use it to yourself and add and delete and edit as much content as you want and get a good idea for them. Uh, get in touch with me 